right. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So. Tonight we are just going to finish up the um, quest line for Patches, Jarborn, I guess Tanith technically, and Alexander. So what we need to do is we need to go to the mountains. Hey, Asado. Um... Oh, I also, I made new alerts this evening, yeah, so play those. Whoa. Um, yeah. I'll show you the new alerts that I made. Nothing, nothing crazy. I'm not the best Photoshopper around. So I did new alerts for um, members, so new memberships, is this. Oh. Hello again, Hello again, it shouldn't echo, but it's Jar Barn saying, hello again, cuz. Actually, let me do this. Mixer, Chrome, all right, here we go. So this is a new member. Oh, hello again, cuz. Okay, so it's a new member. And then we got uh, Super Chats. Strong. That's a strong one. I like that one a lot. And then tips. Why did that break? <laughs> how, did, how did this break? There we go. So yeah, those are the new alerts. Hey, hey Ryan, how are you? Those are the new alerts, so whenever folks do those actions, you'll see them. It's very nice, very fun. Yeah. All right, so what we're going to do is we are going to go do the Alexander stuff. Uh, so i got to skip the ice dragon here. Uh, how long did that take me? I don't know. 30 minutes? 40 minutes? Something like that? Oh, Cade. I'm very glad. Thanks for letting me know that you enjoyed them. Yeah, the alerts didn't take that long to make. Uh, crab, it's pretty good. And it's probably like my third or fourth playthrough by this point. I just keep resetting the same file. Um, but yeah, it's good. I keep doing like different quest lines every time. Hasn't this boss health bar dropped yet? Let me grab these. These are. I don't know, I thought, I don't know why I thought these were like high level runes here. Oh well. The end is a little. It's not weak, but it's like by the time I get to the end of this game, I'm like, eh, all right. It's time to end this. Like, I was definitely ready to end the game. It's my least favorite boss, Godskin Duo, hands down. That boss sucks. Oh, John, you're very welcome. Glad to have been helpful to you. Godskin Duo, hands down, is the worst boss in the game. I think it's actually even worse than the... Um, what the hell is the... Uh, what's the name? The double crucible night. Hey, John. Good to see you. 
double Crucible Knight at least gets fun when you kill one. Because Crucible Knights, I, I enjoy fighting. But, Jesus, Godskin Duo is just obnoxious. So I've been scouting new capture equipment. I may upgrade to some, like, real professional shit. I'm gonna see if I can get it off of lens rentals. Oh, I, Crab, I, I've never really done soul level one runs, but I imagine it's pretty hard in this game. Flame Peak. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Big tough guy. Fire Giant is easier than Radigan? Wow, that's that's a surprise. I would not have expected that. Dude, I have mad golden seeds. I wish that they gave you something to do with them. Like, they take away the sacred tears. Like, there is the perfect amount of sacred tears in the game, but there's a lot of extra golden seeds. And even on New Game Plus, you continue to get them. Strange. Yeah, John, I agree. Why is it 14? That's such an odd number. All right, so Alexander's summon sign appears in the arena. Yep, there it is. Come on, buddy. Sick. Oh, you can't ride the horse. Oh, boy. Forgot about that. Does he make it harder? I would assume he makes it harder. Nice, John. Wow, can't believe I just avoided that. Whoa, can't believe I just avoided that. Lucky message appraisal.
fireballs, the worst. The worst. Interesting. The fire's not doing any damage to him. I guess his time in Mount Gilmer paid off, you know? Oh, shit. Oh, Byron, he took me a while, too. No joke. This boss took me a good long while. Chris, it's technically New Game Plus. I've just restarted it a bunch of times. I have a save file backed up after defeating the final boss. Sato, the world may never know. I'd like to know, like, what he's sacrificing a foot for. Like, why a foot? Although, the foot was damaged, but why the foot? Cool. <laughs> Limber. <laughs> I've like never seen these attacks. Hey, we got him. Great job, buddies. Great job.
Great job, Alexander. That fight is very weird with no music. All the other bosses are fine. That one was strange. Yeah, you can roll through his body, but it's very hard. I normally don't do this fight. Like, I've never summoned for that fight. I've only ever done it mounted. It was a little weird. Although, I don't, I don't know what's easier. I don't know what I would recommend. I feel like when you play mounted, you're positioned very well. But, like, because of the input buffer of the game, you can kind of get stuck in certain places. And using, like, a colossal weapon while mounted is just asking to, for death. Although, you could probably use a colossal weapon for phase one and be fine. I actually think you can. I would just always get in trouble with it in phase two, so I would switch to, like, a one-handed sword. Oh, Byron, I deliberately have all the music muted, so... It's not... Like, it, I expected it not to. Sato, I really thought Torrent was going to be something. Like, Mel Melina talks about him constantly. So does Ronnie. Crab, I jumped in. I have long observed the lands between. This world is in dire need of repair and death indiscriminate are you prepared to commit a cardinal sin yes very well let my hand rest upon you for but a moment Oh, Zebrix, thank you so much. I don't know, Crab. He's definitely a foot guy, so... He has some, I think he has some idea. The lore is really like whatever you want to interpret it as. There's, there's never one clean answer. There's never one clean answer in these games. So, don't worry about it too much. In a way, you kind of get to write the story, which I like a lot. John, you are 100% correct on that. Lock on cam. <laughs> That'd be funny. That'd be really funny. All right. Peace grave. Oh, Byron, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you.
like I can never land plunging attack in this game. They just always whiff. Nah, bro, I'm trash. I'm bad at this game. Favorite boss? Damn, that's so hard. I don't know. I think uh, Ancestral Spirit has the best music. I think that's a fact. Um, yeah, like Ancestral Spirit is one of those bosses where I'm like, I don't want to kill you because I don't want to stop listening to this music. Um, is this the last boss in the game? No. No, you still have a while. The Ancestral Spirit has the best music. Placidus Axe is up there. Favorite legacy dungeon. Wow. Let me think about that. The Halig Tree was my gut first answer. Let's, let's give somebody a rune arc. I can't stand this fight. What build am I using? Primarily strength. Yo, nobody wants to fight Godskin Duo. I can't imagine why. Oh, there we go. Burnhaw will fight with you? Wow. I've... Most annoying enemy? Definitely the crows. Warhawks, whatever. Favorite legacy dungeon. Oh, shit. I think it's probably the Halig Tree. Specifically Elfail. Just like when you get down into that city, it's like, whoa. It's very impactful. Ray Lucaria is a close second. Oh, I can't summon a spirit and a fandom? I didn't know that. I'm just not aware. This isn't going well. I was avoiding that. Finish and burn all.
you guys see that? You cancel the animation. doing work right now. He is putting in the work. Yo, Burnhall is OD. You didn't even inflate for that. Sick. He heals like multiple times. Force skin do. That's good. Hey, he healed up a bunch there. Okay. Dragon Temple Altar. All right, gotta get the Dragon Temple Lift. Hey. What level am I? Um, I'll check in a moment. I actually don't know. That was a weird jump. I didn't... I sort of jumped blindly there. I didn't really know where I was going. 166. Yeah, this is New Game Plus. I don't know if I actually know how to get down there. Yeah, I, I know. Big scary dragon, I know. I know, you're a big scary dragon. I know. I'm more concerned about the fucking birds here, though, if I'm being frank.
Uh, yes. I, I beat every single boss. I beat all bosses with no summons. No. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I beat all the bosses with no summons, no magic, no infusions, no bleed. Um, I liked it a lot. I had a great time. I would recommend it to anybody. by lightning, please? Like, shit. Oh, God. What am I doing? Don't you go away. Oh, I misjudged this. I totally misjudged this. Totally misjudged this. Rap, I actually don't know how to get down there. I pick Lord of Frenzy Flame first. Hardest cave or catacomb? Hmm, that's a question. Hardest cave or catacomb? I never got this. I never been down here. Never found that. Damn. Black Iron Helm worn by Drake Knights features the spoils of a dragon catch as an emblem of pride as both dragon hunter and partaker of communion. From birth, Drake Knights speak not a word. They spend their lives pursuing the strength of dragons for its sublime beauty and inspiration of awe. Cool. Cape is crafted with dragon wing membrane. Nice. Double Crucible Knight, maybe? Hmm. 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 Double Crucible Knight. I'm trying to think of, like, the hardest catacomb. Maybe spirit, the, the spirit snail cave in the mountains. That one was tough. I wasn't a big fan of that. Yes, I went all the way down Redan's Tower. Did that whole thing. Oh, 
shit, I was not paying attention. Never did this. Never been up here. Interesting. Um, learn something new every time you play. I think the spirit snail cave might have been the hardest. Not even because of the boss, but just like all the uh, samurai guys that you got to fight or not fight, but like run away from. Those those were a little challenging. There was one where you have to fight... Oh, maybe Landell Catacombs. Landell Catacombs is very tough. You gotta fight a lot of the Fell Twins over and over and over and over and over. There's also a cave somewhere. I think it's the Mountaintop Catacomb where there's a lot of Erd Tree watchdogs that you have to fight as normal enemies and their magic. That was hard. Whoa. I see a shadow. Yeah. Um, yeah, those, that was hard. Yeah, that's the one that loops a couple times. It sort of makes you think you're going crazy. I think that one is probably the hardest one. But the one with the Erd Tree avatars or watchdogs, that was miserable. I can't stand fighting those things. Especially because in that dungeon they have you fight them like in very closed quarters. That sucks. Oh, no problem. No problem. No problem, Nate. My pleasure. Oh, the loop one with the chest teleports. I forgot about that one. That one was a lot of fun. I liked how they started getting creative. I really enjoyed that. I got afraid, like, during the network test that we were only going to see the same dungeons over and over and over. Sort of like Chalice Dungeons. Um, yeah, I, I dug that. I dug that a lot. I know Chalice Dungeons weren't technically the same dungeons over and over and over. It just felt like the amount of rooms that you had access to just... I don't know. I, I, it got old for me. I wasn't a big fan of Chalice Dungeons. The one with the looping chests, I can't remember what that one was even called. Yeah, you could you could feel the procedure. You absolutely could. Especially for the amount that you had to do for the story. Like, ugh, it just got old. It got old quick. Yeah, the pot one. The pot one was cool. That was another maze one where everything looked the same. Was that Orisa Hero's Grave? That was another one that looked the same, like where everything looked the same.
<laughs> Dude, I love the chariots. The chariots are so cool. I don't think you should die immediately. That's a little rough, but I do enjoy the chariots. I like that the chariots mean puzzle, you know? Like, I think that's cool. Can I survive this? No way. Whoa. <laughs> I did raw dog the game. That's 100% true. Yeah, I did do that. War Dead Catacomb. Which one is that? War Dead Catacombs. That sounds familiar. Am I going to redo the Dragonlord fight? I didn't plan on it, but I can. I'm looking for... A I'm looking for Alexander. Oh, the one in Radon's arena. Right. That, I thought that one was kind of creative. Like, you can just run past everything. Yeah, like the, the Aeonian warriors are fighting the other ones. Behind an imp door. Yeah, that's what the wiki said. I just can't remember where the hell that door is. Really weak to jumping R2s, I guess. Good to know. Up the stairs, okay. Just want to make sure I didn't forget anything out here. Still primarily running strength. Strength faith. Hey. Buddy. Down. Yeah, I knew that wasn't good. You know, it's called lightning grease, but it should have been called grease lightning. Missed opportunity. Dissidia tutorials. Uh, do you make tutorials for Final Fantasy Dissidia? Hey, what are you targeting? Dude, it was targeting something in Africa. Dude, it was, it was targeting this guy. This dog. still keep up with it? The Isn't the city still around in arcades? Ooh, double Hoslo whip. That sounds fun. That sounds like a lot of fun. Did 
I never come here? This must be a dragon stone. Oh, I just got deleted. Oh, John, I know exactly where you are. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. I see how it is, boys. damage. My controls mess up? No. I don't know if I've ever been here. I really don't remember this.
Whoa, that was a cool hitbox. I don't think I ever came here. Oh. Dude, that's weird. No, I didn't have that problem. That's very strange. Is... Did the binds just change? Like, can you change the back? Or is it, like, totally messed up? I know he has a sad ending. I haven't seen it, though. summoning mimicry. Killa, I, I don't understand why it doesn't... There are ways to prevent the white goo coming out, like the resurrection thing. Uh, yeah, Crab, you can. You absolutely can. And you can take the coffin down to Shifa River if you do it that way. Anyway, I don't I don't understand why defeating them with holy weapons doesn't prevent them from coming back. That doesn't make any sense to me. It works on the sword that D drops. So Does that count? So, I think I I do believe that's the implication. I would have to go back and triple check that you can take the coffin. I'm pretty sure you can now. Like it's not broken. checking that to see what would happen. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the coffin like isn't broken or something. I guess. Uh, what was what? Which ability? so insane. 
So I actually found... Oh. Oh, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I actually... That was my first entry into Lane Dell. Was from Sheeper River Deeper Depths of Lane Dell. That was the first way I got in. Uh, the spell that I just used... Oh, shit. We're right above the beginning. Wow. Rad. That's so cool. Um, what was the question? What is the spell? It's uh, Scarlet Aeonia. You get it by trading in um, Millennia's boss soul, or her remembrance, as they're called in this game. Anyway, like I was saying before, um, I have killed those skeletons and not had to deal with the white goo. I just can't remember what weapon I used. It wasn't D's sword, though. It was something else. If you delete the game, reinstall it, will it save your progress? On PlayStation, yes, I can 100% confirm that. PC and Xbox, I can't speak to that. Here's what we're going to do. I'm just going to show the path here. And then we'll we'll speak with him. I also need to pee. So, Knowledge Boy, this sword that I'm using, the coded sword, this has 100... Like, all this scales with this faith. All it does is holy damage. And it doesn't do it. Pasar Cuscalo? Unknown. It. I'm pretty sure they know it's bugged, though. It doesn't work for anybody, I don't think. Wolf King, it took me 150 hours to finally end the game. I did not want it to end. Well, that's not completely true. By the end of the game, I wanted it to end. <laughs> but for a while beforehand, I didn't. I just, I just wanted to keep exploring. Deep below the Earth Tree capital. Uh, with respect to what? Where Where are you reading that? Where are you hearing it? Because it can mean different things to different people. Like, when different people say it, it means different things. So, I want to make sure I give you the accurate information. This is basically from Godskin Duo over here. I had my shield up. What the fuck are you talking about? Okay, so that is Shabriri. He is speaking of the sewers of Deep Root Depths. Not Deep Root Depths, sorry. The subterranean shunning grounds. Okay, so I can't go back up, but at least I know where this is. This is from uh, Godskin Duo over here, right?
Nope, that's the wrong way. Was the old fang used for? I don't actually know. I wish there was a way to, like, sort your recipes by the materials. Like, I would love to know what each thing does or what each thing can be used in. Crazy, man. I literally never came here once. I definitely found that elevator, too. I know for a fact I found the elevator, but I must have been like, oh, let me come back here later. Son of a bitch, man. This place is so fucking big. Love this game. You made it here yourself. The city hanging in the air is slowly crumbling. What an incredible place we find ourselves. But that aside, you're certainly a force to be reckoned with, eh? I doubt there's a single soul who could have handled that giant other than you. He was practically a god. Of course, I count myself, the great Alexander, among many. Which means I've but one thing to ask of you. Would you kindly undertake my ordeal? Come and tell me when you're ready. I've been longing to fight a warrior as accomplished as you. You are ready. There's a dragon in this place? It? Maybe I did come here then. Then let us begin. I am the great jar warrior. I am Mr. Alexander. Lend me strength, O oh warriors. Let us become one champion together. All right. He's got the he's got the fierce DP SRK. I can't believe he does the I can't believe he does a DP. As I suspected, victory was impossible. This vessel was found lacking. My thanks. I knew you were the stuff of champions. It was a marvelous battle. I implore you. Take what I bequeath from inside me. All vessels are destined to one day break. But the great Alexander lived as a warrior to his last. <laughs> and I knew it was coming the whole time. I knew it was coming the whole time we were doing this quest. Keepsake of the Warrior Jar Alexander. Found at the core of the dead flesh that once filled the Great Jar. The jars contain dregs inherited from the jars who came before. Oh. Thus, our warriors pass from jar to jar, carrying you. Ah, that's fine then. I'm okay with that. Hot girls and boys, how you doing? That makes me less sad. Shard of the late Alexander, shattered warrior jar, greatly boosts the attack power of skills. Scraps of stewed flesh cling to the shard, <laughs> and tatters of ornaments can be seen mingled within the slime. Relics of a red-haired champion, it would seem. A red-haired champion? Can't really tell what that is, but cool. Thanks. 
steal some redan juice. This place is rad. Nice. That's cool. That's where you uh, get the talisman from the four belfries. That's nice. I just fucked myself. Dude, how do I get down from here? Lunins are... Were you talking to me, John? I feel like we got a few Johns here. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> I feel like tonight we have three or four Johns in here. All right, I'll be right back. I gotta use the restroom real quick.
Wolf, I wish I had a vice. That fight's just annoying. There's really no other way around it. You just gotta try to isolate them. I will say, focus on the first one the whole time. Like, you don't want to split your damage. It is a very frustrating fight, though. You can summon the oh that makes sense. Yeah, if you give um if you give the the sick guy the twin armor. That makes sense. Never thought to do that. I mean I knew about giving him the armor, I should know if you could, I didn't know you could summon him. Jesus. Totally correct. I should do a Star Scourge sword build. I think I have the stats for it. I just need higher intelligence, I think. Actually, no, I have the intelligence to wield them. I do. Jesus. Fucking damage output on this thing. Unreal. Unreal Engine 5. Ah, why am I doing this? Why am I bothering? Hey, Vishnu, good to see you. I don't know why I'm bothering with this. I assume there's nothing else here, but I know what happens when you assume. Dude, it's basically infinite. Using a fucking holy weapon over here and they're just, eh, whatever. Fuck your blessings. <laughs> Zebrix, that's like exactly how I play the game. Like, I've got to kill every enemy at least once. Just, just so I know I can do it. Most of the time, I'm like, what am I doing? I know that there's like a level one rune behind them, and that's all that it is. Ah, Lunins are. That's what it makes. That's what makes it good. Twins in the same body. 
juicy. Uh, Vishnu, yes. I've been summoning Black Knight Fatigue for basically every fight. I got the Gruyere going on over here. Didn't this guy have a friend? <gasps> oh, fuck. I think altering it does remove the head. I think it, it either removes the head or flips the colors around. Alright, we did it. Killed the boss. You know what bugs me? Is when you do the alterations, you lose defense. Because it often takes away the... Um it, it usually takes away armor. Oh. Hello again, cuz. No, I haven't changed my mind. I'll begin my journey once I'm ready to go. As a warrior jar. In search of glory. Wow. Cuz, are these insights from Uncle Alexander? <sighs> Thank you, Cuz. I'm a warrior jar, so I need to be strong. I can really have them. Right? I understand. I'll get strong. Strong enough. I deserve to have Uncle's insights. I don't think I'll see you again. When I set out, warriors are supposed to work alone. Goodbye, cuz. And thanks for everything. I'll never forget you, cuz. I'll never forget you, cuz. Well, he doesn't know that I killed him. And to be fair, Alexander challenged us to a, a duel, and then he sort of sacrifices himself at the end. You know, I didn't deliver the last killing blow. Oh my god. Oh my god. A talisman given by the jars to their friends raises potency of thrown jars. Though the jars are brought to life by human flesh and blood, they are all rather kindly folk. Perhaps they were made to be better than their innards. Oh my god. Oh. Heartbreaking. You know what would have been cool? It would have been cool if, like, Diallos somehow became a jar. Jarriers. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. 
Nate, I don't actually know what the lore implication of that is. Uh, this is Lierni of the Lakes, Wolf King. Just, uh... Like if you go right here, where this flag is, you'll see gravestones you can jump down, and then you'll get down here. Um, okay. So. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna finish Patches quest line and then we'll be done John I definitely think they'll make DLC for this game I'd be shocked if they didn't shocked I tell you I mean, Sekiro was really successful, and they didn't release DLC for that game. And the DLC they did release, like, a, a, over a year later, was Boss Rush. No story DLC. So, I don't know. I mean, I, I agree with you. I think it would be very good for it to have DLC, but... I feel like there's precedent for there not to be. These guys are cool. Yeah, it 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 certainly could have been, Nate. I mean, if, it, if this game was being in developed for five years, sure. Crazy that they work on two games at a time. Crazy to me. I wonder what they're working on. I mean, aren't we know they're working on Armored Core, but you gotta wonder. You gotta wonder. Are they doing something else? Yeah, Decidia, I think that's happened. I think we're going to the Badlands, though. That's my guess. Oh, dude, imagine you go to, like, Jarland. Vishnu, that would be so sick. That'd be cool. I think Elder Scrolls 6 will be as good as Elden Ring. I don't know. I'm not a big Elder Scrolls person, so I don't I can't really make a guess there. What Kingsfield would it be? Would it be five? Four was on PS2, right? These heresy-inclined perfumers imbibe their own spices to alter body and mind. Their slow descent into self-destruction is what earned them their name. Cool. No, I don't think it was always like this. I It feels like the castle is like, falling into it almost. Like Maybe like the, the biome changed or something, you know?
I gotta go over there. Could be from the volcano, yeah. Could be. Just like plumbing. Like the kids in kindergarten cop, they just like discipline. <laughs> yeah, it is a tumor. For sure. Those dogs really blend in. Yeah, where that's that's basically what I've done. It's more or less been doing like quest line runs. Why does this game look so fucking good? that before. I think I have the gloves. Celebrated for their undefeated campaign in the Shattering. Clean Rot Knights vowed to fight alongside Millennia, despite the inevitable, if gradual, putrefaction of their flesh. Their acceptance of their fate made these battles the fiercest of all. Interesting that their armor says that they were undefeated. It's not exactly true. What's my vice of choice? Um, I don't really have one. If I did, it'd be gambling. But I come from a family of addicts, so I just don't have one. 
But uh, gambling would definitely be it if, if I did. I Whenever I go to Vegas, I gamble a little bit. And, and uh, I can absolutely tell you without a doubt, if I had an addiction, I'd be gambling. Oh, God. I like Commander Nile a lot too. I, I I get annoyed when people like say that they hate him. I think he's fine. Like, if if he was like um what's his face? If he was like what's his face with the um Where's the prosthetic? That's what I'm looking for. Um, if he was like, what's his face? O'Neal, where he keeps summoning. That would be annoying. Then I would think he was an unfair boss. Not unfair, but just not good. But I I, I think Niall, Niall is totally fine. Along the outer wall, really? Oh, God. Well... Isn't it guarded by clean rot knights? O'Neill leaves you alone, though. Like, you can just deal with the ads, and he doesn't do anything to you. I mean, basically, same thing with Niall. I will say though, like without a strong, like beefy weapon, I, I get that Niall would be hard. I mean, he he was hard for me, but I my difficulty was learning the uh, his foot, fucking you know, that shit. That was hard. It's along the outer wall for real. He does punish aggro playstyles. He certainly does. I mean, as soon as you get near him, he's he's up your asshole. But as long as you stay away from him, you're fine. On the bottom level. All right, let's just kill Elmer. Finish Patch's quest line. I'll do this another time. Is it down there? With this guy? Whatever. Idiot to kill him. Uh, oh, you, you, you again. A shame you had to see me like this. Oh, I, I had a bit of a slip up, that's all. I should have stuck to what I know best. No matter. I know I, I can trust you. Gullible, yes, but uh, a good soul. Make certain that Tanith gets this. Dancers cast the nets. Oh, it's it's nothing. It's just makes me sick to see her all bent out of shape. Come on, Tanith, back on your high horse where you belong. You're able then. Then I can rest easy.
Okay, I was not expecting to do 3,000 damage to him. I feel like I've done nothing but fuck up these quests. <laughs> I'm so fucking annoyed. Lightweight and battle-proven leather armor worn by a savvy soldier. Many admire the wearer of this armor for his chivalrous and forthright spirit. Get out of town. Castanets used by dancers from foreign lands received from patches. The passionate dance comprises no seductiveness, but merely a dignified beauty. Oh, I don't even have mana for the cast. Alright, old school. Combination platter. Love it. I was running. It's probably on the tail end, but my foot probably got caught. So okay, I I watched um I watched the video on patches and he apparently just disappears after that, so I think killing him there is actually the right call. But who knows, maybe he shows up somewhere else later. Visions of strong foe. Oh, Arc Rider. Thank you. You found my channel by accident? Were you not looking for Elden Ring guides or anything? He does give you the Magma Whip if you complete his assassination quest that he, like, gives you. <gasps> Whoa. Wait, what? I am... Oh, I rested at the Sight of Grace. I'm a fucking idiot. I'm very stupid. That scared the shit out of me. Okay. Give it to Tanith. At right card, Lord of Blasphemy.
Ooh, after watching Vadi's videos. Wow, that's that's a high honor for the YouTube algorithm right there. Oh, you. Allow me some time. Our Lord's carcass is vast and not easily consumed. Dear Rikard, please. I can't believe she's just eating this shit. Just within me. I wish to be your serpent, your family. One day, let us devour the gods together. What is it? I have no need of that. I must continue devouring my beloved lord. Dear Rikard, please find purchase within me. I wish to be your serpent, your family. One day, let us devour the gods together. Dear Rikard, I wish to be one day. She won't take it? Oh, yeah, she's just eating him. No big thing. Oh, you. Allow me some time. Our Lord's carcass is not easily consumed. Oh, thank you, Daniel. Appreciate that. Well, wait, it's not in my inventory anymore. That's weird. I don't have it anymore. But she said she didn't want it. Now, I, I know if I kill her, the knight invades. Uh, Ark, I was going through a couple quest lines. We've actually we're actually done now, um, but yeah, I was just going through a couple quest lines, uh, recording them for the purpose of making guides later. We can kill the gods together. The insignia emblazoned on the front marks out the wearer as the eyes and ears of Sir Gideon the All-Knowing. to be one day what is the next big game for me John if I'm being honest with you couldn't tell you I don't even know what's coming out I've been basically living for Elden Ring for the past like six months We can kill the gods together. I circuit. Hmm. It won't give you the achievement. Um, I have them all if you want me to go through them. Uh, 
Uh, Edward, yeah, it definitely lives up to my expectations. I will say, like... Um, I, I will say, like, the game was a solid, like, 12 out of 10 up until the end. And then it goes down to, like, a 9.8 out of 10. Like, it's still basically a perfect game. But the longer the game went on, like, it just starts to get long at the end. Where it's just, like, it doesn't turn into a boss rush. But it's just, like, there's no enemies. And it's, like, you kill a boss. You kill another boss. You go through an area with no enemies. You kill a boss. You go through an area with no enemies. You kill a boss. Like, it's just... It just sort of feels like it's like, okay, the game is clearly ending, but how many goddamn bosses do I need to kill to end it? Like, that's really how it felt, but it is still so goddamn good. So, there's nine legendary weapons. There's the grafted... Grafted Blade Greatsword. This you get for defeating the final boss in Castle Morn in Weeping Peninsula. Sword of Night and Flame is where? I don't even know what this sword looks like. Everybody talks about it. What kind of weapon is this? a straight sword. Shouldn't it be here? Oh, there it is. This is found in Karia Manor. Uh, yes, John, you can. You would need, I think... I think... I think you need to have activated Lord of Frenzied Flame prior to doing the thing you do after defeating Flame Giant or Fire Giant. Like, I think Lord of Frenzied Flame, you have to do it before then. The Ruins Greatsword took me... That's the last one I got. I actually don't even have it on this playthrough. I don't think. Yeah, so the Ruins Greatsword is very easy to miss. Basically, either before the festival begins in Redmain Castle, or after you defeat Radon, there will be a new boss here. Defeating the boss drops the Ruins Greatsword. That's the one I missed. Um, Mirai's Executioner Sword, we just got that. You defeat the boss of Shaded Castle. We just did that on stream. Dark Moon Greatsword, you have to follow Ronnie's entire quest line to the very end. Bolt of Grand Sax is in the capital. Um, you have to do that before defeating Malaketh. Eclipse Shotel can be found in Castle Soul up here. It's not hard. It's 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 hard to miss. It's like right in front of a side of grace. Devour scepter. What is this one? Drop by night burn all. 
All right, so you kill Burnhall in the War Master Shack and Limgrave early on in the game, which is over here. That's Artist Shack. This is War Master Shack. You do it here. Or when he invades in Crumbling Farum Ozla. And then the Golden Order Greatsword is found up here in this cave, Cave of the Forlorn. That's all nine. Yes, Zebrix, you can. Um, you go here. You go to this tower. There's a chest on top of this tower that will teleport you to the uh, to the Divine Bridge. MB, anything as good since Witcher 3. That's a bold claim. That's a bold claim. So, John, you can get every single ending through a save scum, but you have to do specific things. Mark Rider, that's so weird. That's so weird. I wonder if looting one on New Game Plus will, will trigger it. So, John, basically, once you activate the Lord of Frenzied Flame ending, um, which you do at the bottom of uh, this, the city, at the very bottom of the sewers, um, you need to do the Halig Tree, and you need to do Millicent's quest line. And you have to finish her quest line before defeating Melania. Her quest line is really long. I could s sort of describe it right now if you want. Um... I know the NPC invasions are a, are a little messed up. I know it does they don't work for some people. Uh, so for Millicent's quest line, it starts here in Gowrie's shack in Kaled. He will ask you to find an unalloyed gold needle. That is found right here. You kill the boss located right here. Uh, Commander O'Neill. That drops the unalloyed gold needle. Bring it back to Gowrie. He'll put it back together. And then he will tell you to find a girl named Millicent. So what you do is you kind of have two options. You can solve the puzzle of Celia Town of Sorcery. Just involves lighting three beacons. No big deal. And then once you do that, the door... Oh, okay, great. So you gave her the arm you haven't seen her since. After you give her the arm, she goes here to uh, the Zamor Ruins. If Shabriri is there, though, I don't think she'll show up. Um, yeah, but I think you could probably just kill Shabriri. Shabriri is not necessary for anything. Uh, you don't ever need to see him. He just gives you a hint. But yeah, she should show up there. And then after that, she goes to the Halig Tree. Whoa, Ark Rider. Good to know. Thanks for letting me know. Wow. Good job, dude. Is John, is Shabriri here at the Zamor Ruins? This guy? What? I've never seen these before. Nah, no, Zebrix, he's not crazy. He's not crazy. Oh, I've definitely gotten these then. Okay. You 
you burned the Erd Tree, then the Round Table. <laughs> the Round Table Hall. And if the Erd Tree in the Round Table. I'll stay at the Round Table. I must learn and see it. How could I come? The pursuit of us, I may. Perhaps the same good news to say. What do you think? Hmm. I'm just curious if he would say anything different since I'm wearing this. Alright, well, I feel like Tanith, Tanith, whoa, I feel like the quest line of Tanith is not over. Uh, no, Evan. Yura dies, and then Shabriri takes his body. She's at the grace past the bridge? Really? Ancient Snow Valley ruins? Uh, Doovie, no. There's a lot of stuff to do... Really? She's here? There's a lot to do with Ronnie's quest line before you get to Radon. Like, you'll get a lot of story out of it, but you don't have to do it. Like, killing Radon will not preclude you from finishing Ronnie's quest line. It just changes the order in which you do it. Or, sorry, it doesn't change the order in which you do it. It just locks, it prevents you from hearing certain dialogue. But the end result is the same. You might be right. Maybe she's not in the same place as Shabriri. I can't remember, though. All right. Oh, let me, uh... So, I showed this at the beginning of the stream, sort of before everybody got here, which was kind of dumb. But, um, I made new stream alerts. Since I've been streaming more, and, you know, people have been kind enough to donate and join as channel members and do all that stuff, so I'll show them to you. Maybe when we get another really busy stream, we'll start popping off. So, we have new alerts for members, which are these. So we got that one. For super chats, we got this. And then for tips, we got this. Yeah, Shabriri will die on his own, eventually. So yeah, maybe if we get another uh, really poppin' stream, we'll start hearing those. John, check this side of grace over here. The ancient Snow Valley ruins. I could have been wrong the whole time. All right, Vishnu, good to see you. Thanks for joining. Um, I'm actually gonna go as well. I'm pretty zonked. I'm glad we're finishing this before three in the morning. Uh, but yeah, thanks everybody for tuning in. I gotta get started on the videos for um, for Dialos now that I'm done. Um, yeah. <sighs> I have officially, like, r not run out of steam, but, like, I'm officially tired. 
Um, and now that like I've killed all the bosses and all the guides and I've like started my new job, <laughs> like I'm definitely, definitely cooked. But I'm going to do my best to get uh, the next lore guide out this week for Diallos and Volcano Manor and all that. But, uh, yeah. Whoa. Well, it's weird. That'll do it for now. Thank you all so much for watching. Thanks for hanging out, as always. And I will see you next time. Bye.